Hey, what's up guys? This is Mark for Spantacular.com. Right now we're looking at the Samsung Focus, available exclusively on AT&T. This is one of America's first Windows Phone 7 handsets. And uh, we're going to do a quick hands-on and walkthrough of the device. Right now, as you can see, we're looking at Alice in Wonderland. And no, this isn't playing off of internal memory or an SD card. It's playing off of Netflix. Windows Phone 7 does support Netflix. So we're going to give a round of applause for that. That's very cool. Uh, very useful, as you can see, uh, just to have that right out the gate. So that said, let's talk about the device, take a physical tour. Got a 4-inch Super AMOLED display. Very, very nice. Uh, easy on the eyes. Very, 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 very pretty. Uh, here we've got 3.5 audio jack. The phone ships with pretty high-end headphones with the replaceable earbuds. Uh, not too bad. You might not have to buy anything extra. Got a micro USB input for data exchange and syncing the device over the desktop and charging device. Standard audio rocker here, turns everything up and down, uh, nothing too fancy. Dedicated power button, turns the device on and off, and we've got a dedicated camera button, works as a shutter when snapping those pictures with your 5 megapixel camera with LED flash. And also got a loudspeaker there. So let's talk about Windows Phone 7. Windows Phone 7 is Microsoft's way back into the smartphone game. A lot of people have been saying like, oh, it's going to be this big Android iOS killer. Uh, does it do that? Not really. Uh, it's coming along okay, but as a new platform, it's kind of too early in the game to tell whether it's going to be the king of the hill or just um, another bump on the log. Uh, so far, I do like it. It's very reliable. It's very simple and straightforward. Um, those of you coming from an iPhone, you'll probably like it. You've got your uh, customizable panels here where you can just pretty much put whatever you want on the main screen of the phone. Or if you want, everything's there, nice and alphabetical. Real simple, but effective. Uh, let's see. It being Microsoft, you got Office, Internet Explorer. It has Xbox Live support. There's my avatar jumping around there. Uh, and of course, you've got Zoom, another big Microsoft thing there. Um, as far as performance goes, you got a one gigahertz processor. Uh, you've got uh, eight gigs internal memory. Didn't ship with an SD card, so that was kind of a letdown, but you get eight gigs of internal memory built in. To replace that and it does accept micro SD up to 32 gigs so that's pretty it's pretty decent um, let's see I'll show you what the web browser looks like another drawback uh, to the device at this time is there's no flash support at this time I mean it may happen it may not a lot of places are staying away from flash uh, there are folks on HTML5 because that's supposedly the way of the future but if you've been carrying around an Android handset with flash support, you're going to miss that when you come to this platform. Uh, well, that's a nice website, isn't it? Uh, so we'll just scroll around here and we'll show you what the accelerometer looks like. Will you turn? Oh, I might not recognize that I turned it. There you go. And it's kind of similar to the iPhone, the way it kind of flips the screen around. Uh, it's not so much how a lot of the Android devices tend to just kind of rotate. It flips kind of similar to the iPhone. So we'll set it up, and there you go. So Windows Phone 7, it's pretty solid. Uh, needs needs a little time, I'd say. Um, other than that, if you're looking to get away from an iPhone or Android device, or if you try them both, or if you you know you're just looking for something new. Or you're willing to step out and you've got faith, this might be something you're interested in. The focus is exclusively on AT&T, as I said before. It's $199 with a two-year contract. And I mean that's pretty much it. It's a good solid handset for the most part. Battery life's good. Uh, call quality's good. As long as AT&T is good, your network, you should be fine. So we're gonna get ready to close this thing out. Should you have any questions or concerns about the device, uh, feel free to 
leave a comment, ask a question, and I'll be glad to help you out with that. But with that said, this is Mark from SpanTechler.com. I want to say thanks for stopping by.